mommies and daddies, and welcome to story time. I hope you all are very, very comfortable at home when you are listening to this. My name is Storyteller Athena, and today I'm going to be the storyteller, and all of you seated at home very comfortably are going to be my little listeners. And today, I'm going to be telling you the story of Tiddalik the Frog. But before I tell the story, I think we should all do a little bit of stretching together. All right, so can we all stand up from where we are sitting? And can we all raise our hands up as high as we can? And now, can we do a little stretch to the left? Let's stretch as far as possible to the left. And now, let's stretch as far as possible to the right. Let's stretch. And now, can we stretch in front? Let's see who can stretch the furthest in front. Very good, boys and girls. And now, we are going to sing the story time song. And I know some of you know this song very, very well. But don't worry if you don't, because all you have to do is listen and follow as I do. So, can we all get our hands up one more time? And now, can we all shake our hands very, very fast on top of us? Let's shake and 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 shake. And now, can we shake it below us? Can we shake and 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 shake? And now, can we shake our hands below us? But can we shake it very, very slowly? And now, can we shake our hands to the left? Shake and shake and shake as fast as possible. Let's shake and shake and shake and shake. And now, can we shake it to the right very, 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 very fast? And now, can we shake it very, very slowly? And now, can we shake our hands on top of us? But very, even slower. Even slower, boys and girls. And now, can we go very, very, very fast? Very good. And now can we rub our hands together? Let's rub our hands as fast as possible. And now can we rub our hands very slowly? Good job, boys and girls. And this is how the story time song goes. So can we all clap our hands together? And let's open it to our friend next to us. And can we clap our hands again? And can we open it to another friend next to us? And now can we put our hand next to our ears and can we listen all around the room? And now can we put our other hand next to our other ear and can we listen, 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 listen all around the room? What sounds can you hear on the room, boys and girls? And now can we put our hand on top of our eyebrows and can we look and look and look all around the room? And now let's put our other hand on top of our eyebrows again. And now let's look and look and look and look all around. And this is how the story time song goes. It's story time today. It's story time today. Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you listening? Are you listening? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Good job, boys and girls. But now I think we are all ready to sing the story time song together with the actions. So let's all sing it as loud as possible, all right, boys and girls? So let's all get our hands up one more time. Let's shake and shake and shake and shake and shake. And now, let's sing the song very slowly. It's story time today. It's story time today. Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you listening? Are you listening? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Good job boys and girls. I think we deserve a big 
round of applause. Now, boys and girls, have you ever seen a giant frog in your life? No? I haven't seen a giant frog in my life as well. But today, I will be telling you the story of Tiddalit the Frog, who became very, very big. So, once upon a time, in the beginning of dream time, the earth was entirely flat, dry, and empty. There was no trees, no plants, there was no animals like my little friends over here, and there was no water on earth. Nothing moved or grew. And below the earth, Rainbow Serpent, who was a big, big snake, lived. And Rainbow Serpent, she decided to come out one day from beneath the earth. So Rainbow Serpent, she slithered and slithered and slithered out from under the ground. Boys and girls, can we all slither like Rainbow Serpent together? So let's put our hands together like this, like a snake, and let's go. Very good. And so, Rainbow Serpent decided to come out from beneath the earth, and Rainbow Serpent went. And Rainbow Serpent was very heavy, and Rainbow Serpent was very big, and Rainbow Serpent was very lonely. And so, Rainbow Serpent decided to go everywhere all around the earth to find other beings. So Rainbow Serpent traveled and traveled and traveled, but after many, many, time, many months of traveling, Rainbow Serpent found no one else. And because Rainbow Serpent was very big, and Rainbow Serpent was very heavy, Rainbow Serpent traveled and traveled and traveled, and Rainbow Serpent left long winding tracks in the ground wherever she traveled. And because Rainbow Serpent was very big and heavy, Rainbow Serpent also left big holes in the ground wherever she traveled. So boys and girls, can you all show me a big hole? Is your hole this big? Or is your hole very, very small, very tiny like this? Can you show me a very big hole? Very good. And that was how big all the holes that Rainbow Serpent left on the ground were. And when Rainbow Serpent arrived back from where she had emerged from, she decided to call out for the frogs to come out from beneath the earth. And so Rainbow Serpent called, Frogs, come out! And in that moment, two gigantic frogs, as big as mountains, hopped out from beneath the earth. And Rainbow Serpent decided to tickle their tummies. Boys and girls, let's all tickle the frogs' tummies together. Let's get our tickling fingers out and let's tickle, 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 tickle. And Rainbow Serpent tickled and tickled and tickled. And the frogs began to laugh so loudly. And they laughed and laughed and laughed that their bellies began to wiggle and jiggle. And in that moment, a lots and lots of water spilled out from inside the frogs and filled up all the holes and winding tracks that Rainbow Serpent had created. And this is how lakes, ponds, rivers, and oceans were first formed. And now that there was water on Earth, Rainbow Serpent decided to call out for all the other animals to come out from beneath the Earth. And Rainbow Serpent sang a little song while she did this. And Rainbow Serpent sang, Red and yellow and pink and green, Orange and purple and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, Sing a rainbow too. Boys and girls, let's all sing this song together with the Rainbow Serpent. Are we ready? And red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. And Rainbow Serpent summoned all of the animals to come out from beneath the earth. And what animals do you think came out from beneath the earth, boys and girls? I think animals 
animals like tigers and bears like my friends over here and even rabbits and birds came out from beneath the earth and so a big big tiger came out from beneath the earth and what sound does a tiger make boys and girls do they go roar so can we all get our tiger claws up like this and let's roar like a tiger together roar very good and what sounds does a bird make? Birds also have big wings, don't they, boys and girls? So let's get our wings up, very, very big, and let's go woo, 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 woo. And rabbits also came out from beneath the earth. And rabbits, they have very tall ears like this. So let's all get our rabbit ears up, boys and girls. And rabbits also go hop, hop. And now that there was water everywhere on earth, the grass and the trees started to grow. And now there was even food for all of the animals. And wherever these animals found the most food and water, they decided to live there. And this is why some animals today live high up in the sky, some live high up on the trees, and some live in the water, and some live on the ground, while some live underground. And now, Rainbow Serpent decided to create some rules for all of the animals so that none of the food and water run out. So Rainbow Serpent went, all of the animals. Remember, you must all take care of each other and share all the food and water on Earth. And all of the animals obeyed Rainbow Serpent's rules for many, many, many years. They took care of each other and they shared all of the food and water on Earth. And whenever these animals had children, they passed Rainbow Serpent's rules down to their children as well. And this went on for many, many years until one day, there lived a frog named Tiddalik. Now Tiddalik the frog, he loved to sing and sing and sing. And he sang every single day. And he would always sing See the little froggy swimming in the pool. The water's great, it's nice and cool. When he gets all cleaned up, out he'll hop, squeaky clean from bottom to top. Boys and girls, I think we can all sing the little froggy song together. So let's all get our hands up in the air and let's all sing. See the little froggy swimming in the pool. The water's great, it's nice and cool. When he gets all cleaned up, out he'll hop, squeaky clean from bottom to top. And Tiddalik would sing and sing and sing every single day. And he sang so much that his throat started to get very dry and scratchy. And so Tiddalik really needed some water. And so Tiddalik, he hopped and hopped and hopped. Boys and girls, let's all hop like Tiddalik. Let's get our hands up like this and let's go hop and hop and hop and hop and hop. And Tiddalik, he hopped to the nearest pond so that he could drink some water. And his throat was very dry, so he drank and he drank and he drank. But his throat was still so scratchy. And so he drank some more and he drank and he drank and he drank. Boys and girls, let's all drink some water together. Let's get our hands up like this and let's drink and drink and drink. And Tiddalik would always sing a song while he drank because he loved singing so much. And he sang, Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. With a sip, sip here and a sip, sip there. Here, sip, there, sip everywhere, sip, sip. Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. Boys and girls, let's all sing that water song together. So let's all get our hands up like this. And Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. With a sip, sip here and a sip, sip there. Here, sip there, sip everywhere, sip, sip. Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. But Tiddalik was so thirsty still. But because Tiddalik had drank so much water, he grew in size. He was still thirsty. And so Tiddalik, he hopped and hopped and hopped to the nearest 
lake to drink some more water. And his throat was so dry, and so he drank, and he drank, and he drank. But his throat was still so thirsty, and so he drank, and he drank, and he drank. And Tiddalik sang, Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. With a sip, sip here, and a sip, sip there, here a sip, there a sip, everywhere a sip, sip. Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. Can we all sing that together one more time, boys and girls? Let's get our hands up like this, and... Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. With a sip, sip here, and a sip, sip there, here a sip, there a sip, everywhere a sip, sip. Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. And because Tiddalik had drunk so much water, he grew in size even more. But, of course, he was still thirsty and his throat was still so dry and cracked. And so, Tiddalik, he hopped and hopped and hopped to the nearest pond to drink some more water. And his throat was so dry, and so he drank, and he drank, and he drank. But his throat was still so scratchy, and so he drank, and he drank, and he drank. And he sang, Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. With a sip, sip here, and a sip, sip there, here a sip, there a sip, everywhere a sip, sip. Tiddalik was thirsty, he needed a drink. And because Tiddalik had drunk so much water, he grew even more in size. But he was still so thirsty. And so he hopped and he hopped and he hopped to all of the lakes, rivers, and ponds to drink and drink and drink all of the water so that he wouldn't be so thirsty anymore. And because Tiddalik had drunk so much water, he grew and grew and grew and grew in size until he was as big as a mountain. And he became so tired, and so he began to fall asleep, and he went <sighs> Boys and girls, let's all fall asleep like Tiddalik together. Let's get our hands like a pillow and let's all make some sleeping sounds together and And now because there was no more water on earth, terrible things began to happen. Not a single drop of rain fell for many, many months and the sun beat down on the earth, scorching everything. Everything was so dry and cracked, and all the animals had no water to drink, and all the plants and the trees had died. And so, summoning their last bit of energy, all of the animals decided to come together to beg Tiddalik to return all the water to the earth. And so, the kangaroo, he went up to Tiddalik, and he begged, and he begged, and he begged, and he went, Tiddalik, 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 oh please give us back our water. We really, really need some water. But boys and girls, do you think Tiddalik agreed or Tiddalik even woke up? No, of course not. And so the koalas, they went up to Tiddalik and they went, Tiddalik, 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 oh please give us back our water. We really need the water. But boys and girls, do you think Tiddalik agreed or woke up? No, of course not. And so, the little dingoes, they decided to go up to Tiddalik and they went, Tiddalik, 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 oh please give us back our water. We really, really need some water. But boys and girls, of course, Tiddalik did not even wake up. And so, the wise old owl, he came up with a smart plan. And the owl, he said, I know, we have to make Tiddalik laugh. And when he laughs, his belly will shiver and shake and all the water will spill out back onto the earth. And all of the animals agreed. They thought it was a wonderful plan. And so different animals decided to come up with different things to do to make Tiddalik laugh. And they tried many, many, many different things. And first, the koala decided to try to make some funny faces to make Tiddalik laugh. And the koala went, la 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 la, la 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 Boys and girls, can you all show me your 
funniest faces. Let's see who can make the funniest faces on a count of three. One, two, three. La, 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 la. <laughs> Very good, boys and girls. But boys and girls, do you think Tiddlewink woke up? No, of course not. And so the kangaroos decided they are going to hop and hop and hop and hop everywhere to try to make Tiddlewink laugh. And so the kangaroos, they went hop, hop, hop. Boys and girls, Tiddlewink still did not wake up or laugh. And so the ducks decided they were going to waddle and waddle and waddle everywhere to try to make Tiddlewink laugh. And so all the ducks, they went waddle, 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 waddle. Boys and girls, let's all do that together. Let's all waddle like some ducks and let's waddle, 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 waddle. But boys and girls, do you think Tiddlewick laughed or woke up? Of course not. And now it was the eel's turn to make Tiddlewick laugh. And this eel, he was not happy at all. He was very, very angry at Tiddlewick. For Tiddlewick had taken all the water on earth and the eel had nowhere else to go for the water was his home. And so the eel, he slithered up to Tiddlewick's tummy. He went. Boys and girls, let's all slither like the eel together. Let's get our hands like this and let's. Very good. And the eel, he was so angry. And so he started to scold Tiddlewick. And he scolded and scolded and scolded. And this eel, he scolded while he twisted and turned. And he twisted and turned. And he twisted and turned on top of Tiddlewick's tummy. And the more he scolded, the more he twisted and turned, and his body went into very, very funny shapes. Boys and girls, let's all twist and turn like the eel together. Let's all go twist and turn, and twist and turn, and twist and turn, and twist and turn. And the eel twisted and turned so much that he began to tickle Tiddlewick's tummy. And he twisted and turned, and twisted and turned, and he tickled and tickled and tickled Tiddlewick's tummy. And all of a sudden, Tiddlewick woke up from his nap and he began to laugh and laugh and laugh so loudly. He laughed so loudly that his belly began to shiver and shake and it began to wiggle and jiggle and it began to shiver and shake some more. And all of a sudden, Tiddlewick, his belly shivered and shake so much that water began to spill out everywhere onto the earth in big great spurts and the water went psh, 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 psh. and all of the animals had to run for cover as there was so much water coming out of Tiddlewick's mouth and all the animals decided to hide under the trees and all the water filled up all the holes and the lakes once again and all the lakes and the ponds returned back to normal and from then on all of the animals agreed to obey Rainbow Serpent's rules. Even Tiddlewick the Frog decided to obey and he learnt his lesson. And from then on, all the animals agreed to obey Rainbow Serpent's rules to share all the food and water on Earth. And whenever it rained, all the animals would be so thankful for the sky for bringing them more water. And this is why every year during the rainy season, we can hear bullfrogs just like Tiddlewick the Frog singing and singing and singing and croaking and croaking and croaking. The end. Thank you so much boys and girls for listening to the story of Tiddlewick the Frog. But before we go, it's time for us to sing the story time goodbye song. So let's all get our hands up one more time and let's all sing. Story time is over now, story time is over now, story time is over now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends, it's time to go, goodbye friends, it's time to go, goodbye friends, it's time to go, it's time to say goodbye. Now we are still going to have more online storytelling sessions for you, so do be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel over here. And do be sure to follow our Instagram and our Facebook page at Storytelling Center SG. And if you have any photos or videos of you watching this storytelling session, do be sure to tag us on any of these platforms. Thank you, goodbye, and stay safe!